Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick little video on how I insert my clear elastic in the waistband of my um, my athletic tights. This is the um, new Super G pattern from Green Style, and I love it. This is my third pair, so um, I just thought I'd do a little video on this because I know clear elastic can kind of be a little tricksy. So um, what I do is first, um, the clear elastic gets surged into or sewn into uh, the waistband between the inner and outer waistband. And as the instructions have you do it, you would sew the inner and outer waistband together and then you would sew the clear elastic on with a zigzag stitch just to the inner waistband. And that does work, um, but I've found it quicker and a little bit more efficient to just put it in while I'm surging. So as you can see, I've already surged the top edge of my waistband together. Um, now unfortunately I'm using mostly black fabric, so it's a little bit hard to see that, but you can see I've surged those um, inner and outer waistbands together at the top. And so I, I do that first so I don't have to worry about things slipping around. And then I've got my clear elastic and I'm going to put that on the seam. So hold it up and show you. Um, so that there's, you know, and then I'm gonna start surging. And I'm not gonna start surging right where the elastic starts. I'm gonna start a little bit farther in and then just overlap it as I get to the end. So I just kind of, Lift up my presser foot, stick that under. You can turn off your knife at this point if you want to. Um, I don't usually bother, but you don't need to be cutting off any more seam allowance. You're just using it to go over it again to surge it in there. So now I've just got my fabric here, my clear elastic on top, on the side of the um, inner waistband, and I'm just gonna start surging. And it just, sometimes it takes a second for it to grab and then it'll kind of start grabbing on. And I'm not pulling this at all, I'm just letting it feed it through. Okay, so now I'm pretty much back to where I started. I have a little bit here. This is the tail from where I first started surging. So I'm just gonna kind of overlap that and surge right over the top of it. And then I just veered off. So I have these little tails here. I'll snip those, snip this edge because I always start with a much longer piece than I'm going to use. Um, but you can see how, now my clear elastic, if I had used quarter inch, it would be completely enclosed. I didn't have quarter inch, all I had was um, three eighths, so it's not gonna be completely enclosed. But since this is gonna be enclosed in the waistband anyway, it's not gonna show. Um, you might be wondering, why bother? Why do I need to put elastic in my waistband at all? If you've ever had a pair of uh, athletic pants start to ride down and you have to constantly hike them up, this is what you need. This will solve the problem. I don't do this for all fabrics. If I feel, have a fabric that I feel like is really compressive um, and is really just not going to go anywhere, then I don't always do it. But it is really useful and I hope that little video has helped you figure out how to insert the clear elastic. So now you have, you know, you can see I've gone over this twice. That's fine. It's just extra strong, which is always nice in a waistband. All right. Happy sewing.